What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and we've got ourselves a little bit of a challenge question in this video today. So, when we check out this problem, it says, what is the value of 153 squared minus 152 squared? Hmm. So, when you take a look at a problem like this, you're gonna have one of two different reactions, and this is what's gonna make the difference between someone who scores, you know, passing to about 55, 60, versus someone who's getting that 75 to 99. This is the clear difference. So at face value, you might be looking at this and you might say, okay, 153 squared, okay, great. Let's go ahead and start right off, right away. Here we go, 153 squared means 153 times 153. And you're thinking, hey, I gotta do this as quickly as possible, right? Go, 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 go. Three times three is nine, five times three is 15, carry the one, one time. But here's the thing. This is gonna take forever. It's gonna take one, two, three lines. Then doing the 152 squared, that's gonna be all of that. And you're gonna take all the time in the world to get this done. Then you're gonna subtract them. And the thing is, you don't need to do that, all right? So again, this is the difference between doing what you see and then asking for a brief moment, hey, could I shorten this process? Is there a shortcut? Is there some sort of convenience that I can take advantage of? And there absolutely is here. And so here's the idea. Let me go ahead and write this for you. So think of this idea that I know a lot of you recognize, but you may not have down in terms of being able to recognize it live during a problem where there's pressure. You have 153 squared squared. So I'm going to highlight this right here. Squared minus another number squared. You need to recognize this idea. This is called the difference of squares. Let me see if you've ever noticed this. Have you ever seen something like this? Oh yeah, a squared, let's not use a, let's say x squared minus y squared. That turns into x plus y times x minus y. Again, this is called the difference, write this down with me, the difference of squares, all right? the difference of squares. So mind my handwriting, obviously I'm not the best, but there we have it. And so this idea is gonna help you out. This is largely used with polynomials, but you can use this with numbers as well because you have a difference, again, subtracting, difference, subtracting, squares, two numbers being squared. If you have this, you can apply this idea. And the idea is, hey, if we have ourselves right over here, 153 squared minus 150, two squared, this turns into 153 plus 152 multiplied by 153 minus 152. Now, does this make the problem easier? Yes, much, 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 much easier. And here's why, because now all you have to do, subtract 153 minus 152, what does that give you? Okay, that gives you one. Oh, okay. Cool, that's pretty good, okay, okay. And then 153 plus 152, well 150 and 150 is 300. Three plus two, that's gonna be five. Okay, sounds good, so that's gonna be 305. So now what we did is we just turned this problem from multiplying three digit number by three digit number, then subtracting them, we turned all of this into 305 times one. Again, if you recognize that this is a difference of squares problem, you can give yourself a much, much easier time in getting this done. And that's the point of this, my party people. Again, the ASVAB is not just about getting the problem done because both of these methods work, right? Both of these work. But which one is gonna get it done in as little time as possible, giving you time for those other remaining problems? So we have to be thinking about this, everybody. We need to make sure that we know how to tackle these questions start to finish, and then think about another way to do it start to finish. Think about all of the different ways that you can get these problems done because it's gonna show you exactly how much you understand the material. That way, you know exactly how confident you are. If you don't know how confident you are, then that's where the anxiety has room to creep in. So, my name is Coach Anderson again. If you wanna keep getting videos like this, please consider liking this video, commenting if you learned something new in this video, and as well as subscribing to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, please and thank you. I always do appreciate it. And if you didn't know already, I have a free practice test with a free ASVAB class every week. So check the description of this video because you're gonna see that there. Click it, enroll for free, and then get started on raising your score. And on top of that, if you wanna learn more about the things that I offer to make your life really easy, 
then go ahead, shoot me a text. You can go ahead and text me. I have an iPhone. Go ahead. 567-698-8867. That is my phone number. I'm more than happy to talk to you and help you succeed. But without further ado, I want to make sure that you have everything you have, which there's the answer. There's the work. Let's keep moving forward and let's have a good time. Let's ace the ASVAB and I'll see you soon.